for being a, in a spot to win a championship. And now it's all it gets down as we talked about that execution in eight minutes. Keep track of the turnovers in the fourth quarter. That may be the stat we look to. Well, it, it, it will be. I don't think there's any question. And then the other part of it is when you've got opportunities, you have to convert them. Swihart tries to create an opportunity there. She just does like so. That. And Liz Smith was wide open for the easy two and just, just threw it up a little short. Just like that. But in transition, Shatard's able to capitalize. But they do get it. Why? You miss an easy layup. And you come down, they score. Now they're up two, but still, you dodge a little bullet there. Again, I said it. When you have the opportunity, you need to step up and convert. Swihart has it between the circles now. Seven and a half to go. Sees the lane opened up. Ball knocked away momentarily. Dove to the floor and a loose ball. Yeah, well, well, why not? I mean, she averages 20 a game. She and Schutzman will have the ball in their hands a lot. Swihart drives, gets fouled. Now, Coach, foul starting to mount for Shatar. Yeah, absolutely. Free throw on the way and good. Significant free throw to tie. Threw that one up a little hard. Mm -hmm. Rebound tracked down long by Carolyn Schuthman. Again, it's that, it's that ability to play from uh, ahead. You know, it's a mental thing. Tie, go ahead. You know, if Shadard can answer this with a score, there's that, that mental lift you get from staying ahead. Bosey had her choice of screen. She ran through one, kicked it back to the top to Schuthman, and she dials up a three. She has 13 now. Gives her ball club a 42-38 advantage. A huge hoop, you know, because... The, Leads again in this game are going to be hard to come by with the, as good as both teams are. Just a nice little play where they find Carolyn Schutzman right at the top of the key, dead on, and she can knock that down all night. Alex Starr with the basketball comes to Swihart. Liz Smith now between the circles under six and a half to play. Liz in some trouble. Needs somebody to come to the ball. Swihart finally does. They'll start over again to the right elbow. Alex Starr dribbles it out high. Liz Smith stops, pops, and kisses it off the glass. Big hoop. Needed that hoop. Nice. Gathered herself off the window. Very big hoop. 42-40. Trojans have the basketball and the two-point advantage over Plymouth with six minutes to play in the fourth quarter at Conseco Fieldhouse. Again, you see, you got Schutzman and, and Bozy with the ball in their hands. Another deep three put up by Schutzman. No good. Uh. Fought four on the floor. We have a foul. Lob in. Schutzman from six off the glass. No. Big rebound by Crawford. Another Kept big offensive rebound. This one by, uh, as you pointed out, Courtney Crawford. Two Bozy. straight offensive rebounds. Bozy from 12 throws it up too hard. Big rebound underneath. Can't get it to fall. Plymouth starting to fight for it. I mean, Plymouth dodges three bullets. No question. Three offensive rebounds. No score. An that, empty hoop. Ellerding that last miss. Mm. Falling to the floor is Swihart and the jump ball of the floor. It does was you guys having as much fun as I am? And, and the answer is yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely we are. Right. Because we're going to be able to go home, win or lose, and we say we had a good time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a big, a big possession. As Michael pointed out, Dave Cox telling his team, they're all big. Oh boy, man! Courtney Crawford had a wide open Missed look underneath a point and just blank couldn't finish shot it. at it. Ouch. Lots of contact oh, my goodness. going to the floor. Turnover. Oh, ball, but and it happened. I think when you go for a ball and knock someone out of bounds, I don't know. Maybe that's a foul. I think the ball had passed right. when the contact was made, and so that's why he called it a no call. Well, but fortunately, back to back turnovers now. Plymouth turns it over into the hands of Sattard, and Bozy finishes off the steal, and she has 15. See, but that's a huge play. I mean, sure. you know, you take the ball out of your hands now, and now instead of a chance to die, you're down four on the exchange. 44-40. Shatard has the advantage with four and a half to play. Not quite to the point to where every possession becomes so crucial, but we're darn close. Strong move to the bucket. How about that finish, huh? Alex Starr. Or check that. Brittany Davis for Brittany her fourth Davis. point off the bench. Really, just a big, big hoop to step up. You talk about stepping up, people have to, and Brittany Starr really did. 44-42, Plymouth trails it by two. She tarred with a basketball, a little bump out high and no call. Brittany Davis. Sorry, Brittany. I'm going to make sure I get it right. Megan Gardner. Schutzman into the corner. A flasher in the post. Now driving to the bucket. No call as it's knocked away from Allerding. Ball loose on the floor into the hands of Swihart. Swihart going to try to take it coast to coast. Oh. Had an easy layup. 
seconds left in the ball game. Chittard leads it by two, 44-42, and they have the basketball. Now let's remember now both teams understand what close ball games are in tournament play. Both of them know it. Some pressure out high. Allarding with the basketball. Say what, both teams just, you know, really, and you talk about possession being valued, it is now. Back in the lineup, Megan Gardner for Shadard, which is a, a significant personnel move. Crawford Mallardy playing pitch and catch out high. Gardner falls to the floor. No travel call. Gardner gets it back, drives into the paint, gets her pocket pick. Coming down with it is Swihart, oh. and Leslie will start the offense. Now. Great defense by Plymouth. Great defense to get it back. Now take time, get the great shot. Under three minutes to play. Swihart with a basketball. To Alex Starr. Back to Swihart. Starr goes to the floor. They go to McMillan. McMillan goes down low. Another strong move put up by Brittany Davis. She can't finish it, but she'll go to the line for two. It's been stuck on this for a while now. Second free throw. That is way short. Ball being fought for on the floor. Still being fought for. Finally, the hell ball call. Out of bounds to Plymouth. They'll get the basketball back. It's with 2.39 left. Well, Plymouth think... looking to get it inbounds. I don't think she has a dribble. They're going to call her for... No, they're going to call the foul call down the foul. low. We're almost sure. We do know it's Plymouth basketball. <laughs> yeah. Swihart with a basketball. Pretty good defense by Bosey. Swihart with it. Right elbow. Starts to drive. Throws it up at the good double block. team. Gets it blocked. No good. call. Shouldn't have no. been one there. Good, that was a good clean, clean block. Clean block. Timeout. Going to be charged. Mm -hmm. Bishop Shatard, coach, telling his team that you played hard for 30 minutes, but we got two more to go. Mark? Two minutes, 17 seconds, in fact. Shatard with the basketball. Bosey with it out high. Megan Gardner. Kimmick gets oh, yeah. fouled. Oh, hell ball. Good, yeah, out of bounds to good. Shatard. It, but continue to attack, but attack out of that set. Shootsman with the basketball. Gardner, double teamed near the midcourt. Drive gets rid of the Shootsman. Clock down to two minutes now. All kinds of contact. No call. They say over and back. It's hard to run that four corner it, it, with a... With a some time on the clock. Swihart, Setha, McMillan all getting into the act. McMillan has it now out high on the left side. Well, Plymouth is going to take be patient, take some time. They're going to work inside, look for Liz Smith. Swihart drives, throws it up. Oh, my. Got it to fall. Nice See, you've, one been one asking her. you've been asking her all night to go to the window and take some shots, and she did. Tied at 44 with a minute 28 to play. Bosey with the kick. Gardner drives, throws it up in traffic, gets it blocked away, coming down with it. Shootsman, Shootsman misfires. They give it to Gardner. Gardner swings it over. Shot put up, still won't fall inside by Courtney Crawford and a foul on the rebound. Took her concentration away. Check that. That was her third foul. Mm. Free throw missed by Plymouth. Still Four. tied at 44. Rebound and a foul. It's easy for us to sit here and do it and, and say it, Mark, but it does boil down to you need to just step up and make plays. You gotta step the free throw line to make make free throws. You gotta make layups. You gotta get rebounds. That's how you win championships. A minute left. Nice drive to the bucket by Schutzman. Ball oh. knocked away out of bounds. Last touch by Plymouth. In to the left of the Chittard bucket. 58.6 seconds left. Baseline drive into a double team. She's in some trouble. Gets rid of it to Bosey. Bosey gonna dribble it out. Now get it to Gardner. Gardner slips through a double team, goes to the free throw line, throws it up and gets bumped. If you look at the replay, close call. Free throw good. Boy, she calmly drained that one, didn't Absolutely. she? Absolutely. Starts, she's fearless. I mean, she gets in the lane, delivers the ball, knows how to knows how to win, knows how to play. Up two now, 47 seconds if you're Plymouth. No need to panic. Just take the time you need to get the shot. 46-44, Plymouth. Swihart with a basketball. Comes baseline, little left-hander thrown up and in. I like the way Setha exerts herself around the bucket, especially with that left hand. Yeah, she there was 14. no question because it was obviously a quick delivery on the part of Swihart to send in. You knew she was going to turn to that left shoulder. Bosey with the basketball. They put it in the hands of their leader for now. 20 seconds left, a double team by Plymouth. She tries to fight through it and does. Megan Gardner mm. gets bumped and she'll go to the free throw line. Is good. No, it rolls. Oh, got deep man. in the well and popped back out. That's oh, a big miss. Absolutely. Boy, got to let it happen. Excuse me. Swihart 
9.8 seconds left. We're tied at 44. Swihart comes and gets the basketball. Almost lost the handle. Dribbles to the free throw line. In a double team. Has to throw it up in traffic. Got it blocked by the foul. Certainly does. First free throw on the way. No. no Second one goes. on the way. I think he goes. Rolls around it in. They go right here. And, and uh, Megan Gardner to look for the championship win. Shot put up at the midcourt stripe. Off the front of the iron. No. Plymouth. How about that? Wins the state championship in thrilling fashion.